at this stage, if you are a Nigerian, you will probably most likely surely would have heard about the e era, the country's digital currency that was unveiled at the State House by President Muhammadu Buhari on Monday, 25th of October 2021. Since the in era was announced in the country, there have been different reactions, questions and opinions about it. What is the in era? Why does the country need to take the currency digital? How will this affect the Nera? Is this like a cryptocurrency and so many others? I will be looking to answer some of these questions as best as I can and show you the effect whether negative or positive and how it works basically. So follow me as we delve into the world of Nigeria's digital currency. Nigeria, Africa's largest economy, has launched the continent's first digital currency, the e -Nera. The central bank digital currency is now the second largest behind China's digital yuan and aims to digitize payments and increase financial inclusion in Africa's most populous country. The launch also ranks Nigeria among very few nations in the world to adopt the electronic money system which leaders hope will help boost the country's GDP and fight inflation. Like I earlier said, the official launch of the Central Bank of Nigeria digital currency took place at the State House in Abuja on the 25th of October 2021 with top government officials in attendance. The Nigerian president, Muhammadu Buhari, unveiled the e era and said it could potentially boost Nigeria's gross domestic product by up to $29 billion over the next decade. Some estimates indicate that the adoption of central bank digital currencies and its underlying technology called blockchain can increase Nigeria's GDP by 29 billion United States dollars over the next 10 years. The e-Nera was developed by the fintech company Bit, based in the Caribbean. Nigerians are still a bit confused though, and the common questions that come to mind is what exactly is the e-Nera? Contrary to popular belief of some Nigerians that the e-Nera is a cryptocurrency sort of like Bitcoin, it is not. The e-Nera is basically the digital form of the Nigerian physical Nera currently in circulation. It is simply a digital currency issued and backed by the authority of the Nigerian government and is a legal tender equivalent to the physical cash. The e-Nera is quite unlike Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that have no backing of established authorities and it is also pegged against the traditional Nera so it will not fluctuate due to market influence at a different rate from the traditional Nera. It is issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria in line with Section 19 of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act. In essence, it is a direct liability of the Nigerian Apex Bank. Built on a blockchain open ledger technology that prevents duplication or creation of fake units. Each Inera note will be unique and different. The Inera basically eases transactions and offers digital stability, thus reducing the need for physical cash. The government of Nigeria and the central bank have frowned against cryptocurrency dealings in the country. We can all recall that Nigeria's central bank banned and reminded players in the Nigerian financial ecosystem against conducting any crypto transactions or facilitating payments for crypto exchanges in a circular dated 5th February 2021 and circulated to Nigerian-based financial institutions. Furthermore, the Central Bank of Nigeria urged financial institutions to close the accounts of any individual or company engaging or operating cryptocurrency exchanges immediately. The question on most Nigerians' mind will be why then accept a digital currency? And does this mean the country is now accepting cryptocurrency back? The answer to the latter will be that cryptocurrency is still not recognized as a legal tender in Nigeria and is frowned upon by the government as they say it is too unstable and has caused financial loss to a lot of citizens. The e Nera is expected to complement the traditional Nera as a less costly, more efficient, generally acceptable, safe and trusted means of payment. In addition, the Central Bank of Nigeria said in its guide that it will improve monetary policy effectiveness, enhance government's capacity to deploy targeted social interventions and boost remittances through formal channels. There is the elimination of third parties in transactions which could reduce time and cost of transactions. 
More importantly, there is the ease with which it will complement inclusion of excluded people in the financial system. Alright, I'm going to try my best to break down how it works to the best of my ability here and I hope this will be extremely useful to you. The in error will be provided by the Central Bank of Nigeria to intermediaries, financial institutions who would in turn help supply to individuals and customers. All financial institutions have been brought on board automatically by the Central Bank of Nigeria. These institutions will maintain a treasury wallet to collect in error from the Central Bank of Nigeria. They will thereafter oversee ID verification, in error payment processing, and generation of wallets for Nigerians to keep their in error. Through the app, customers will be able to identify a bank of their choice, connect to their bank account, and carry out transactions. The in error will be exchangeable for other central bank digital currencies and it will be made accessible only through the Inera wallet, which is the digital storage that holds the Inera. The Inera app went live and became available for citizens to download immediately after the launch. To create an Inera wallet on a smartphone, users will need to download the Inera app from either Google Play Store or Apple Store and complete the registration process. Once the Inera wallet has been created, users will be able to transfer money to it from bank accounts or credit cards and to send and receive payments to others in the digital currency. Several tiers of Inera wallet are available requiring different levels of identification depending on whether a person has a bank account and the level of transactions they wish to make. For example, unbanked Nigerians will be able to make transactions of up to 50,000 Naira a day without the need of a bank account while those with bank accounts will be able to send or receive money using a bank account or credit card linked to their Inera wallet. However, you need to know that money held in the Inera will not be paid any interest. Tier 0 requires no bank account, just your name, birth date, and phone number. It has a daily limit of 20,000 Naira, which is about $48, and a total limit of 120,000 Naira, which is about $292. Tier 1 requires no existing bank account, just your name, birth date, phone number, and national identification number, and has a daily limit of 50,000 Naira, which is about $121, and total limit of 300,000 Naira, which is about $729. Tier 2 requires the user to have an existing bank account, a BVN, which is the bank verification number, plus valid identification. It has a daily limit of 200,000 Naira, which is about $486, and a total limit of 500,000 Naira, which is about $1,215. Tier 3 requires an existing bank account and all of the Tier 2 requirements, plus public utility receipts. The daily limit is 500,000 Naira, which is about $1,215, and the total is $5 million, which is about $12,000. Individuals can fund their Inera wallet by transferring physical money from their regular bank e-banking app. And then the cash holder, which is the bank, hands over cash to an Inera verification agent, bank branch, or also called the CBN Shared Agent Network Expansion Facilities. Thereafter, the agent transfers the cash equivalent to the customer's Inera wallet. It will be possible for customers to monitor their wallet, balances, and transaction history. Users will be able to transfer money out of their digital wallet back to their ordinary bank account, but it will not be possible to withdraw physical Nera from an ATM from the wallet. For foreign exchange deposits to the Inera wallet, the diaspora regular holder logs into your customer foreign exchange bank account, transfers funds into international money transfer operators, foreign exchange bank accounts such as Western Union, and then transfer from international money operators Inera wallet to consumers Inera wallet. The cost of sending and receiving money faster and easily will come at a very minimal cost, as promised by the CBN. Electronic funds transfer below 5,000 Naira is charged at 10 Naira, above 5,000 Naira to 50,000 Naira is charged at 25 Naira, and for above 50,000 Naira, a 50 Naira charge is associated. After the Inera was launched, the transactions were free for 90 days after the launch.
the introduction of the e-NERA into the Nigerian financial system is going to have so many implications and affect a lot of area. Some people have hailed the move of the Apex Bank, saying it is a formidable step as the nation navigates into the fourth industrial revolution. Dr. Adeshola Adedutan, the managing director of First Bank Nigeria, said that there are significant differences between central bank digital currencies and cryptocurrencies, citing that central bank digital currencies provides a platform for the government to leverage blockchain technology to maintain a centralized and institutional role over the currency. How will it affect the banking sector? A big issue on the minds of Nigerians is, with the Central Bank of Nigeria offering a virtual wallet where everyone can store their money, does it make the need for banking intermediaries redundant? The government has assured that Nigeria's financial institutions will be close partners in developing the new system. But its obvious aspects of it could impact strongly on their revenue models. Although financial institutions will be able to develop their own in-era wallets, the initial rollout will use the Central Bank of Nigeria's speed wallet. This, along with the fact that the Central Bank of Nigeria will own the infrastructure, platform, customer, and that data could turn the regulator into a competitor and provide the Central Bank of Nigeria a first mover advantage over the banks. Furthermore, because peer-to-peer -peer and peer-to-merchant transactions will be free, traffic will be lured away from the payment services of banks and fintechs. This could grossly affect banks' non-interest revenue models and present uncertainty in the business model and sustainability of thriving payment fintechs in Nigeria. Users might also decide to hold money in their inera wallets rather than bank accounts. What are some benefits of the inera? Number one, the INERA is expected to foster economic growth by offering easier access to capital and financial services, which will increase economic activities at low or no interest transaction rates. Number two, it's also expected to provide secure and cheaper diaspora remittance option and make such transactions faster. Number three, due to traceability, the INERA makes it more difficult for individuals or organizations to indulge in fraud. Enhanced oversight of funds and payments provides a level of transparency that can serve to strengthen public confidence and allow financial authorities to tackle economic crime and fraud. While the impossibility of being forged makes it very strong and reliable, the INERA provides financial inclusion by making financial services available to communities without enough banking opportunities. Number five, local and international trade are expected to be increased with the emergence of the e-NERA, and the nation's digital currency is expected to aid revenue collection by reducing the cost of handling cash. Given the fact that the e-NERA speed wallet disappeared from the Play Store barely 48 hours after its launch, it brings up the question of how safe it is for use. The app which made over 200,000 downloads in 24 hours was taken down due to negative reviews by early users. The app has been restored now though and the Central Bank of Nigeria claimed that the app was temporarily removed to carry out an upgrade to make it much more effective and user-friendly than the original app. Insisting there was no cause for alarm as the bank was determined to ensure that users of the app derived great satisfaction at all times. Some people have also raised the fact that the key behind the success of most digital coins like cryptocurrencies is that it is decentralized and is not linked or governed by a single body unlike the central bank digital currency. This tends to defeat the purpose of the decentralized network. This also gives the government full access and full knowledge into the dealings involving every era. While this might be considered a good thing because it will help better track fraudulent activities, but where is the line drawn on citizens' privacy, or is there no such thing anymore? The fact remains that the government has seen that if cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum gain more traction, the government will lose control. Hence, the INERA is a way of retaining that control. The vision for the INERA is good if it can be maintained and not misused by the government. But in my opinion, I think it's going to take a long time before people accept the digital currency fully. Thank you for watching, I'm Isaac. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel for more content coming up. See you in the next one. Bye for now.